All right, I have this Toro uh, self-propelled uh, push mower. And I will be showing you today how to change, do maintenance. Change the oil, checking your blades, check your air filter. Uh, and it's 7.25 horsepower or 190 cc's. And as you can see, there is no drain plugs on this push mower. So either to drain the oil, you have to lay it to the side and drain it out of the oil dipstick. Or you get the suction deal like I got that's sitting right there that will suck the oil out. All right, I'm going to take the oil dipstick out. Uh, make sure you have some rags with you because it's always when you mess with oil or anything like that, usually it's pretty mad at sea. I'm going to go ahead and suck that oil out of there. And all I got to do is just send this tube all the way down to the bottom of the motor and pump it. And as you see, it starts sucking it out of there. So I'm going to do that, get it all sucked out. I don't tip them over to dump them out. You can if you want. I don't know why they don't put drain plugs on the bottom of them anymore, but so I'm going to wait until that's drained. You know, uh, while I'm waiting for that to suck the oil out, I'm going to go ahead and check the air filter, see if it needs to be changed or blown out. And I see it's pretty new, so no, I don't need to change that out. So I'll go ahead and put that back on. And it goes like that. It goes back on there. Uh, the oil will be 5W30, and you will have to buy a quart. It only takes a half a quart, I think it does. Uh, usually, I think it's about a half. But, you know, when you buy a quart of oil, you have enough to, you know, justify. I always look at my dipstick, to check on my dipstick to see where it's at. Because, you know, they're all different of how much oil they take. I can't check the blade right now. But check your blades. This one didn't need to be sharpened. It's underneath here. Uh, your battery. Let me see, get you a better video. This one has electric start, but it's broke. Uh, if you want to check your battery, it's right here underneath this. So that's right here. You know, if you wanted to change it out. If it needs to be changed out because it's not working. I'm not going to. Alright, I had to prop that up to get the oil drained back to the back of it. And all I use is an old battery to put in there. I hold it up. Ah, you know, a piece of wood. Anything you have to hold it back to get your oil to drain back where it back to back where the oil this thing is. But if you're just tipping it upside over to the side then you don't need that all right i have all the oil sucked out ah you're gonna tip this up and look at your motor blade as i said this one's pretty good it don't really need to be sharpened so we're gonna leave that go now we're gonna go ahead and add our oil Do it. Try not to make a mess. You just have some rags laying around. Usually I never fell as when I'm doing something like this. I always make a mess. I'm good for that. Have oil dry laying around. Something you know where you can uh, suck the oil up in. We're going to check the oil with the dipstick now. Let it settle down for a little bit so you know where you're at. And it's right there. I'm going to check one more time. Let 
yeah. So we're good on oil. Just, yeah, it only takes half quart, maybe not even that. So just, you know, dump a little bit in it and keep on checking it. When it's up in between those two dots, let me show you. It's in between these two dots right here. You know, within those two, you're good. And you can check your spark plug. This one I'm not going to change. You can change it if you want. And that should be it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.